what's going on guys welcome back to yet another video is your Jim graphics in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to design a church flyer in current draw so if you yet to subscribe to my channel please don't forget to hit the red button below to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future updates so let's get straight to the video Over here guys, I have um, some of my downloaded files, my source files I'm going to use for this tutorial, I downloaded it from Google. Alright guys, the first thing I'm going to do is um, change the paper size to A5, which is the flyer size we're going to be working on. And the next thing I'm going to do is import my source files. For this design which is this 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 and this okay guys the first thing we're gonna do now is put a rectangle once you double click on it, it's going to automatically appear here. So, as you can see guys, we have a black outline here. So, I'm going to remove it by right clicking on this over here. So, I'm going to bring my background which I'm going to be using for this design, which is this purple color and the trumpet. Over here, I've typed out all the wordings I'm going to use for this tutorial. So, I'm going to right click on this, select power clip and place it inside the rectangle. Right click and um, select a deep power clip in case you're using 2020. By current version 2020, you can see the uh, the the property bar for that here. So if I, if you're using 2020, if you click on this edit, it's same thing as doing by like clicking and selecting edit power clip. Okay, guys, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this this way. What I'm going to do next now is bring my rectangle tool again and draw here. Drop the rectangle tool with your pick tool and select your shape tool. Right click on it and click convert to curve or control key on your keyboard. Then put nodes around the rectangle and to fit in the trumpet side, sorry this way I'm going to convert this to curve I'm going to leave this like this then over here I'm going to do this Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is bring in my background, copy, right click, edit power clip, paste. And what I'm going to do now is place this background inside the rectangle by right clicking and selecting power clip inside. This way. Same thing, right click and edit power clip so the essence of this is to frame to fit in the um, the background to this frame i don't know if you guys can see this line here 
the line will just trace out so i want to fit in the background to this frame all right guys select this node and click on shift in your keyboard and drag this way this is the result you're going to get the next thing we're going to do is go to your effect i want to blur this background i don't actually like this i want to fade it inside all this um light effect here so i want to fade it out using blur if you're using um the correct draw 2018 go to your bitmap there you can see your blur on that effect so here i'm using 2020 so i want to go to effects and select blur i'm going to use guazian blur Right, guys you can adjust this if you don't get the required result you want you can adjust it this way so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to use 21 pixels which is this so i'm going to scale this a bit cover up the frame then click on finish so as you can see we have our trumpet at the back to place this at the back of the trumpet select shift and press page down on your keyboard this is the result you're going to get so close it and the next thing i'm going to do is add a color to this white as we see so the color i'm going to use is yellow and i'm going to adjust this color by adding a bit of white select the control and double click on this white this way just by clicking on it you see a required result okay guys so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this background into the yellow part right click on it select power click place it inside right click to edit the power clip I'm going to drag this up and fade this part using my transparency tool. I'm going to fade the down part to get the transparency all this way. And you can adjust this this way. So I'm going to go under my property, but I'm going to select the merge mode, select screen. This is the result you're going to get and close it you can see it looks faded in the background this way okay guys so the next thing i'm going to do is um, draw a cycle on the net the purple background select this and select a purple background click on trim this is the result you're going to get and the next thing you're going to do is bring down this cycle double it this way and bring it down a bit this way I'm going to increase this a little bit all right guys so select the boat and click on trim again then delete this one this is what you're going to get so i'm going to color this yellow and fade this part a little bit so this is what we have so as you can see guys we have all yellow in the background so i don't I actually want this yellow banner here to come out so what we're going to do is select our rectangle and draw this way put white color and select your rectangle your transparency to sorry and fade the other parts this way then place it at the back 
by using your control and paint down then this is the result you're going to have so I'm gonna, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in my text copy and um, paste I'm gonna cut this and place it on the top here. So let's go. Click on Ctrl K to break it apart. I'm gonna put this alright guys the font I'm going to use here is called railway. Select your shape tool and click on this to scale it. Change this font to airway. Alright guys, in case you don't have this font, I'm going to put the link in the description below to make it easy for you guys. Next thing we're going to do is bring in the theme of this flyer of the event, sorry, which is Praise Night. Select your Control K, your keyboard to break it apart, then change the font. Change this font as well. So you guys, as you can see, the beauty of this 2020 is that you can scale the weight of the text this way in your property bar. So guys, I will recommend you guys to, check, to upgrade to this 2020 version. It's actually super amazing and super cool to use. I'm going to change this size. I'm going to scale this a little bit thicker. And this is what we're going to have. So adjust it and um, place it this way and scale it to your required size. Then the next thing we're going to do is bring in the gold background. Duplicate this, make it two, and place one inside the praise and place one inside night. Right click on it and select edit power clip. Adjust it to your desired. Same with this, adjust. And this is what you're going to have. The next thing I'm going to do is put a light flare inside this to get a very shiny effect. Right click and import. If you have downloaded it, you can check it out on Google. Bring in your light flare and Place one inside this and as well place one here. Scale it to size. Select your transparency tool and click under your property bar. Select screen. You can do the same thing here. 
select transparency and select screen okay guys the next thing we're going to do is add a shadow select the shadow tool and drag this way you can change the color if you wish I'm going to maintain the black color which is select ctrl k to break the shadow apart from the text and drag it down a bit this way same thing applicable to this change the color so guys what i'm using rgb is when you're designing a flyer you don't want to print always use rgb but if you're printing it use cmyk for your design don't forget that so adjust this this way and um, add your flare lights over here sorry light flare add a light flare to this as you can see guys this thing is not looking okay do same thing select your transparency to and click on the screen and this is the result you're going to get it looks a bit shiny now Alright guys, the next thing I'm going to do is bring in these pictures, I'm going to place these pictures in a round shape, which I'm going to create now. Select right click on each picture and click a select for a clip this way and this way. Adjust it and fit it to frame. Guys, these are random pictures I got from Google, so you can download any picture and try it out. Try the design. A hole under the quarantine. So, guys, the next thing we're going to do is increase the outline by selecting F12 in your keyboard, or you can come to your property bar and select here. But to get the required result, select F. 12 on your keyboard increase it to 8 sorry 8 is much 4 ok let me see 8 increase it to 8 then change this to white and click ok add a shadow to it So the next thing I'm going to do is add their names. I'm going to type a random name here, something like Matt Sass. Place it here. On the name, artist name, the artist, sorry. Place it on the net, the artist. Then do same here. Maybe Steve Sass. 
and uh, of course gym size select ctrl k to break this apart then change the font So guys, what I'm going to do now is select my freehand tool and draw a demarcation here, this way, and place our address here. Okay guys, the next thing we're going to do is add a banner underneath this flyer. Select your rectangle tool and drag this way. Put the pink color and adjust it to a darker this way. So duplicate this and add this one, add the yellow here. Then right click on it and select power clip, place it inside this way. So, guys, the next thing I'm going to do is add info. I'm going to type a random number and type a website. Guys, don't click on this website, it's not reachable. Don't call this number, it's not reach him the next thing we're going to do is add a banner where we're going to place our free entry indication so select your ellipse to drag this way to duplicate this select shift and drag inside then fill in this with white and select this select your interactive field to drag this way under your property bar select elliptical fountain field then you can choose your desired color Select your shadow and put a shadow on the white this way, then place text inside the banner. You can break it apart and change the font then give it white color this way
next thing we're going to do guys is select the light flare here and to create a sparkle light on the mouth of the saxophone so select this and place it over here scale it up select the transparency tool and under the property bar select screen so this is, a, this is what you're going to see and place it inside the background this way you can add another one here to create another sparkle light here so guys this is what we are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is use this background to create another shade of color in the saxophone so select this and place it inside the flyer place it here then select your transparency to click on screen this way then add this way then fade up the upper parts Okay guys, this is the result I'm going to have at the end of this flyer. The last thing I'm going to do is put a banner on the net, the artist. Select your interactive field tool place a color I'm going to use pink and also pink here then add another color I'm going to use blue darker one select the transparency to and fade out the edges Bit, convert to bitmap fade out this part also and what I'm going to add here is mini story to the white color select your shape tool and scale it out this way Alright guys, so this is how to design a flyer in CorelDRAW. If you're confused in any way, you can drop me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And um, let me know what you guys want me to do next in my next video in the comment section below. Thank you and um, stay connected to this channel guys. A lot more videos coming for you. And um, see you in the next video. Bye. I know it, you know it, we 